everyone welcome back to my channel savvy street diys with shanice in today's video i'll be sharing with you how i added a little color and a little pattern to my ikea seagrass basket if that is something that you're interested in go ahead and stay here if you are not subscribed to my channel i would love to ask you to subscribe this is my space where i share all of my budget-friendly home decor and diy projects to transform our house into a home so if that is something that you're interested in go ahead and hit that subscribe button now let's jump right into the video now for this first basket i just wanted to do something really simple this style is everywhere half of the basket is sort of dipped at the bottom in another color and the other the top portion is left in its natural state so i'm just taping off half of the basket here so that i can prepare to spray paint that now for this second basket what i wanted to do was uh, create a sort of triangular pattern i saw this in my head and i was hoping that you know it was going to come out okay so i'm just taping off the pattern measuring it so that i can try to make it as even as possible around the entire basket. Now at the top brim of the basket, um, I had measured about a four and a half inch gap. So I just made sure as I was creating these V shapes across the, around the basket that they were about four and a half inches wide. Now I'm just taping off uh, the bottom half of the basket because I don't want any of the spray paint to get on that bottom half. Now that I have everything all taped off, it is time to spray paint. I think I'm just gonna call myself the spray paint queen because I literally feel like everything can be fixed with spray paint. The spray paint that I am using is Rust-Oleum Ultra Cover Paint and Primer, and I'm using a flat white and a flat black. Now with this spray paint, I ended up doing about three coats with the black spray paint and about four, maybe even five coats of the white um, spray paint. I, I did notice that it faded a little as it dried, so I ended up taking the white basket back outside for one more coat um, in the end. All right guys, so I painted both of these baskets. This one, I love the way it came out. I think it looks nice. Uh, but this one, uh, yeah, I am not feeling it. I got a little bit of bleed through here. Um, it almost looks like something uh, that belongs in like, um, a circus or something I don't know so I have to figure this out and fix this cuz yeah I don't like it I don't like it I don't like it I don't like it
hopefully all goes well. Worst case scenario, I'm just gonna have to paint this basket all black, which I didn't necessarily want it all black, which I did not necessarily want it all black. Um, but uh, we sell, we, I can't talk y'all. Apparently I just can't talk today. So we shall see. All right, let's take a look. So, well, and I didn't paint the entire inside. It's not like I'm gonna be really be doing much with it, but uh, I mean, I can always go back and repaint the inside, right? I think I do need to paint the inside black. I will. I will paint at least the top half black. Not the bottom, but the top half. I like it. that video thank you so much for watching if you are still here with me I am assuming that means you enjoyed the video so go ahead and give me a like and leave me a comment if you have tried something very similar to what you saw in the video today I'd love to hear from you and uh, bye until next time